Objectives. One, to prepare solutions of a known percentage of sucrose, table sugar, to serve as standards. Two, determine the density of the known sucrose solutions indirectly. Three, determine the density of the known sucrose solutions directly. And four, determine the percentage composition of unknown sucrose solutions graphically. This experiment is done in pairs. Safety. To develop good safety habits, safety glasses or goggles, lab coats, and closed-toed shoes are required. Gloves are optional since these are an expense of the students. Part A. Preparation of sucrose solutions of known composition as standards. You will prepare the following three solutions. A. 7.5 grams sucrose in 40 ml of water. B. 14 grams of sucrose in 36 ml of water. C. 30 grams of sucrose in 30 ml of water. A quadruple beam balance will be used to measure all masses to the nearest 0.01 grams. Use the same balance throughout the entire experiment to cancel out systematic errors which you learned about in the measurements experiment. Record the number of the balance. Place it in an area which will have minimal effect from the vents. Next, zero your balance. Weigh a clean dry labeled 100 ml beaker and record the mass. Add an additional 7.5 grams to the slider. Add sucrose. Slow down as you approach 7.5 grams. Record the mass of the beaker plus sucrose when the balance point is reached. While one partner is weighing out the sucrose, the other should be measuring out the 40 ml of distilled water using a 100 ml graduated cylinder. Now add the 40 ml of water to sucrose in a 100 ml beaker and weigh. Always weigh the solutions before stirring. You will lose some of the solution on the stirring rod. Stir solution with glass stirring rod until all sucrose has dissolved. Repeat for solution B, 14 grams sucrose with 36 ml of water. Repeat again for solution C, 30 grams sucrose with 30 ml of water. For solution C, it is difficult to tell when all the sucrose is dissolved because very small air bubbles get trapped in the solution, making it appear as if all sucrose has dissolved. Wait a few minutes and the air bubbles will rise to the surface, making the solution clear. Prepare the following table. To calculate the percentage of sucrose by mass, use this formula. Determination of the density of the standard sucrose solutions and unknown solutions by Archimedean or indirect method. When a solid is immersed in a liquid, the apparent weight loss of the solid is equal to the mass of the liquid displaced by the solid. Obtain about 60 ml of your unknown and record the number or letter of your unknown solution. Select the sinker. Tie a thread to the sinker so that when hanging free, it will be level. The line should be long enough such that the sinker may be submerged in the solutions or pure water. Fill a 150 or 100 ml beaker about halfway with distilled water. Preparing balance for Archimedean method. Remove the pan and holder from quadruple beam balance. Raise the platform up and make sure that it is locked in place. Replace the pan and holder and recheck zero. First, suspend sinker from balance and weigh sinker in air. Record mass. Next, Place beaker with distilled water 
on the platform. Submerge the sinker in water, taking care to be sure the sinker is totally submerged and not touching the bottom or side of the beaker. Weigh the sinker and record the mass of the sinker submerged in water. Remove the beaker and pat dry the sinker. You will repeat the procedures with the beaker with solutions A, B, C, and the unknown. Take the same precautions that the sinker does not touch the bottom or side of the beaker. Dry the sinker before the next solution. Before measuring the mass in the unknown solution, review your masses. They should be decreasing. If not, redo. If the masses are decreasing, you may proceed to the unknown. Complete the following table. The density of the solutions may be calculated by using the following equation. Direct determination of density of sucrose solution. It is called the direct method because the volume of the solution is measured directly from the graduated cylinder. Return the balance to its original configuration by lowering the platform. Use your 600 or 400 ml beaker as a waste beaker. Weigh an empty, clean, dry, 10 ml graduated cylinder to the nearest 0 0.01 grams. Record mass. Fill the 10 ml graduated cylinder with distilled water. A disposable pipette may be helpful to reach the 10 ml mark as close as possible. Once filled, weigh and record the mass of the 10 ml of water plus graduated cylinder. Empty into the waste speaker. You will repeat with solutions A, B, C, and the unknown solution. If you use a pipette, rinse it with the solution you will use. Then rinse the graduate cylinder twice. Record the mass of the cylinder plus A. Discard A in the waste beaker. Repeat with B. Rinse the pipette twice. Rinse the cylinder twice. Fill to 10 ml and weigh. Discard B in the waste speaker. Repeat with C. Rinse the pipette twice. Rinse the cylinder twice. Fill to 10 ml and weigh. Finally, discard C. Rinse and measure the unknown. Fill out the following table. Use this formula to calculate the density of the solutions using the direct method. Clean area and rinse all equipment well. Do not pour any solutions down the cup sinks. Clean all spills on the balance. If you use your cup sinks or leave a mess, do not be surprised to find ants in your drawer or on the bench top. 